back to another episode of ATV and some of you might remember last year at a time a company had sent us uh, an e-bike to review. We recently just received another one. Um, this one's coming from High Boy. It's called the P6. Decent. And this is my little unboxing and review of it. it. Wasn't long after I got this one, I started commuting to work on it, and it has saved me a lot of wear and tear on the truck, not only diesel, right? And it's cut my commute time down to half. Yeah, I've had that one now for, for a year or so, and um, this one here picked up for the wife recently. And it's considerably smaller, but she's uh, considerably smaller, right? So it has a 500 watt motor. This one here has a 750. Um, we've got a 13 amp hour battery, and then we have a 20 amp hour battery. Anyways, um, we picked her up this one here at the beginning of the summer um, for her birthday, and uh, we've been out doing the leisurely tours and enjoying that. Yeah, I feel like I could throw this one around a lot easier. Oh, for sure I can. Yeah, big time. Woo! Brakes work good. Pretty cool for urban commuting, and um, if you're looking for adrenaline off-road, those are it. We recommend the old Can-Ams. Team Bay Marine out of Trenton, Ontario. Good place to start, Old Highway 2. But yeah, back to the e-bikes, right? So, hi boy, P6 Electric. This one also, like this one, is a 12 or 13 amp hour battery. And like this one, it actually has a 750 watt hub motor. Uh, same as what you're going to find on this one here. This bike was considerably expensive. It's in the price range of, uh, if you find it on sale, you'll get it for about $2,100. Um, retails at $27, I believe. Uh, this one here right now is on sale for 40% off. Normally retails for $21 or so um, in that range, $21 and change. And right now is on sale and I think can be picked up for $12 and change, right? Um, free shipping pretty kick-ass so this one's definitely way bigger bang for the buck and i think the only thing that this one doesn't have that that one does uh hydraulic brakes sorry rather and you got the dual suspension so this is a full suspension setup this one here is going to be a rigid tail there's going to be pros and cons to that though so not always great to have the full suspension i find off-road it makes the bike kind of you can feel that flex in the rear tire to the front tire so sometimes it can add more comfort sometimes less stability um so not always the best depending on your needs right and at slow speeds that thing is extremely cushy to drive as i'm sure this will be too it has front suspension and that's most important on a bike right and i do believe there are seat post suspension options available nowadays right so yeah let's get to it basically we're gonna unbox this bad boy i'll throw a couple cameras on it we'll take it out and uh give you our our, our impressions yeah cool just got done shining them up a little bit well pretty well close knocked off a little more dirt but um yeah something else that's really cool high boy sent along with it i've already unboxed and unpackaged it is this little combo uh air compressor slash vacuum it actually vacuums as well and you get a little container here and you can dump out whatever you vacuum up that's pretty kick-ass really but uh this pump gonna be very handy i'll probably pack it in our knapsack for when we go riding on the uh, atvs as well we'll set that aside for now Hi boy. Let's unbox this bad boy. It's a little windy out today, so I do apologize, boys, if you're having problems hearing me. It could be a kick in the nuts, but here we go. Here we go. These things are usually packed pretty tight, pretty snug, and pretty good. And uh, yeah, this one doesn't look like it's any different right on. So I suspect a lot of foam, there usually is. Um, battery I'd like to find ASAP get that thing plugged in and charging right I have a feeling it's housed in the frame installed in the bike and it certainly feels like it so we're gonna have some components thanks to uh, high boy for messaging us because uh, anything with a motor I love you know what I mean they all have their time and place and when it comes to getting out for leisurely rides with the wife the e-bikes pretty kick-ass with toolkit in here our manual pedals charger okay right on and headlight pretty simple pretty simple what is this front axle or something no feeds through the axle i bet we're gonna get you yeah rock and roll 
I recommend you probably just cut the box open. Save your back. Now, that being said, this one's considerably lighter than what I'm used to. <clears throat> that one over there was in the 80 pound range. And I believe this one's in the 60, which is pretty kick-ass. Save you a little wear and tear on your body when you're trying to muscle it around. Oh, there's a nice little protector there. That's good. Kickstand's already installed. Very nice. Very good. Oh, that's cool. Nice batch plate. It is. We'll leave our keys attached there. I see you found those. I'm gonna do the handlebars first, I guess, maybe. Not much to install on these. This one looks like it's even more put together than this one was when I got it. Um, yeah, it's a little sleeker in design. The battery looks actually quite similar, if not the same as the one out of the wife's NCM. Um, that was an $1,800 e-bike. So, and that was pretty well, well, there was a little bit of a sale on it, but not much. So, this one, I've got higher expectations for. However, that one has done nothing but blown me away, especially in the range that the wife's getting out of it. Again, she'll pedal a lot more than I do and use less throttle assist, so that's a good thing. And uh, she weighs a hell of a lot less. Also a good thing, bring these bars up and around. This will be quick and easy, I assume. Well, that took two seconds. Handlebars are pretty well rocking and rolling. Crosshairs nicely. Yeah, I like that angle. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Cinch her down. Look at that, we got ourselves a little reflector. There, rock and roll, too easy. Super long seat post, that's a, a positive. Yeah, I like that. That gives a ton, a lot, lot longer than mine. So this bike's gonna be better for taller riders. Nope, not tight enough. So we're gonna bring in the old dial bit. Better. A little soft, I see why they included the pump. Yeah, we're gonna have to put some air in those. That's to be expected. Take that little guard off. We'll not be needing that. Nice Frisbee break on that side clearly just like that we're gonna take what they call a skewer here something like that this comes right on through put that on there like that and screw you tight wow this one was super quick and easy to put together look at that pretty well done slap some pedals on it right front adjustable shocks preload and rebound 750 watt motor same same yep just like that yeah this one's real easy to put together anybody can do this in a matter of a couple minutes 10 to 12 minutes if you wanted to be quick about it Good to go. I don't think they're going anywhere. Is a uh, twist throttle just like mine. Ooh, the grips are better already, I can tell. So they're not those Ergo ones. I like the Ergo grips, but at the same time, if you look at these, you know, the old leathers wrap and pull. They're not real leather or anything. But these right here is what I find. This screw, I actually feel it. You should grind it down, but there's not a lot of depth into putting the key in there. And you can't swing that without swinging the whole thing. I'm not a fan of these grips. I should replace them. But right out of the gate, I can tell these are actually, well, old school. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I guess these are just fine. It's a nice smooth transition with nothing there to carve up your hand. So happy about that. We'll cut that off. Let's throw the headlight on. We'll take it for a rip. No fenders on this one, and that's fine. This one did come with fenders, but I never used them anyways. A mountain bike, fenders never really kind of jive for me. Lost the GoPro, boys. But it's not a big deal because this thing is uh, totally assembled. All we got to do is pull off your little Serrani protection and rock and roll. Bob's your uncle. Here we have ourselves the P6, boys. 
kind of nice actually that it screws on, I like that. Okay, and set the auto, okay, all right. So we're gonna set it to 20, let's try 20, let's go with 23. We're using the vacuum, okay, so this is vacuum, this is fine. Tires flash as well, so I guess we should have charged it when we unboxed it. in the joyride. Well, that looks nice. There we go. She's all over but the charging. Let's get her plugged in, eh? Actually, that was very easy removal. Sure comes in and out a lot nicer than mine. Charge time, five to six hours. Black Betty, what are you doing? You got some nuts, eh? I'm just throwing this battery on. Do not chew this cable, okay? You chewed our lights. You chewed actually strip lights. Yes, you did. Are you going or are you staying, eh? Alright, hi boy P6, let's go try this thing out. It's a little tighter package, definitely feels lightweight and streamlined. Yeah, it's set for kilometers. Let's bump her up. Five modes around the fifth. Ooh, this one might pull harder. Yeah, it has been a while since we've been out. Forty kilometers, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. There you are, twenty-eight mile an hour. Great test. Oh, they feel good. This one doesn't have the hydraulic brakes, right? Oh, she's a little more torquey, I think. This one might have more uh, more torque. I think it's right at 80 newton meters. Pulls harder, I think, because it's so light, which makes sense. It's basically got the same size motor as my other bike, but uh, almost 20 pounds lighter, and the throttle feels great. Let's be sure. Drop through that seven speed Shimano and there we go. Yeah, you're not gonna keep up to these uh to 28 mile an hour with the seven speed, but it feels pretty good. Shimano. Everything Shimano. Yeah, it feels good. Coast along nice. Feels real good. Got a full charge battery. I was waiting all afternoon for that. So we're gonna find out what the capabilities are. Let's turn this thing on. Setting out, our trip has already got 22 kilometers. I tried it out last night. So we'll add on to that and see where we get. We're gonna jump right on up to full power. Not mess around. Throttle assist. We're gonna try uh, Heading over to the best hill climb I can think of, and that's Fort Henry, old Fort Henry. And uh, it's not that it's overly steep, you know, eight, nine, maybe 12 degrees, but it's long, so it's a real good workout for these bikes. I did adjust the brakes this morning and got rid of the drag. Definitely gives the levers a little bit of a, a little more of a throw, but it's the same token. If it's not annoying me with drag, then that's all good. Generally cost you over two grand. 
Full battery charge did take, uh, well, pretty well to six hours, right? So it's what's to be expected, I find, with these uh, battery chargers. Oh, 47, 48. Wow, if you're assisting, you get more speed. That's the fastest we've had this thing going. Throttle and it drops right away to 45. How about that? So you're limited at 45 with the throttle, but you're not limited with the pedaling. It'll just keep assisting. Well, that is impressive. So we're considerably faster. Road, the bike feels good. It feels really good. This is the historic Cataract Way Cemetery. We got uh, well, the resting place of Sir John A. Macdonald, right? Yeah, it pulls hard. Going uphill, you can actually feel it pulling. Whereas mine, you kind of feel it maintain. Or my other one, rather. I suppose this bike is mine. There you go. Home of Sir John A. Macdonald. Pretty cool. Really cool cemetery. I worked here for a little bit. A couple seasons. Cutting grass. It's got a pretty comfortable riding position. You're definitely not quite as stretched out as you feel on uh, the T7 as well. I've learned a lot about these things in the last while. For the most part, they're an absolute riot in town. When it comes to urban commuting, these things have a place, for sure. Oh, yeah. Still is. Still is. A little bit of off-road section here for you, boys. She's got a lip on her, I'll say. Decent. Not too bad, not too bad. Off-road, pretty decent. I think that rigid, see that would not been near as, near as easy to control on the full suspension bike, believe it or not, just because you could feel that flex of the back tire moving on that swing. Well, let's just call it a swing arm for now, but you get the idea, I think. That was a camera, needs adjustment. After a jump or two, she kind of gets out of whack. We don't have it that tight, but. There's Fort Henry Hill, she's long. It's not too steep, but she's long. Let's see what this thing will do. Power level five. Proceeding uphill. beautiful city of Kingston Ontario and yeah it's pretty cool we're not gonna go around inside because you gotta buy tickets for that and we're not tourists we're locals but we are gonna head up the local Tim Hortons and grab ourselves an ice cap take the opportunity to change up these batteries and uh, yeah dealt with our largest hill this is probably one of the most pain in the butt hills in my area it's long it's not very steep but it's long so not a problem she ate it right up let's see what our battery is saying now back up to four bars which usually after these things cool down a little bit they give you a truer reading of what kind of power you have left percentage wise 
Well, we'll cut through the back way and go through the army base. Why not? Ooh, so spunky. I think the biggest surprise of this bike has been the torque. The uh, 80 Newton meters. Certainly. Pulls well and it's effective. We got about an hour to beat that rain home. It's gonna be a race. I would like to take you down to the Kingston Penitentiary. Quite infamous for this area. Some of you guys might recognize the name from uh, the hit show Kingstown, film right here at our Kingston Penitentiary. Pretty cool. I just started watching the show. Actually, not too bad. Cut through our army base here. Go the wrong way. Jump on the sidewalk so we're not pissing anybody off. A couple upgrades I do hand grips probably these aren't too bad at least they don't carve into your hand like mine but they're a little bit too firm I think a little softer would be nice a little foam but um, seat hand grips what else you can go with hydraulic brakes if you want it I don't think you need to the weight of this bike these brakes seem well equipped I wouldn't bother changing them Approaching Queen's University, get ahead. So yeah, we recommend using the throttle. I like uh, the machines that come with the throttle because starting out on these bikes, that's about the hardest point, right? The 60 pound bike, just starting out, even in the easiest gear, it's gonna put a little resistance on you, right? So it's kind of nice to have that throttle and you don't have to work for it. Get yourself up to speed and then take over with the pedals, right? Slide through the campus here. Yeah, just some beautiful architecture in here. Old limestone, everything quarried from the city. Inmates, back in the day. Come on by the football field. It's too bad this is the art studio, and usually I like taking pictures. The, the graffiti work on the back of this place is amazing. Awesome for, uh, for photo ops, that's for sure. But it's under construction. Renovations are happening. And there it is, penitentiary on our left in Portsmouth, Kingston Pen, and that rain is coming. So I think we're going to jump across on Sir John A right here. This will be our fastest way, but here is Kingston Pen. Mayor of Kingstown, eh? Yeah, pretty cool show. Actually, I started watching it the other night. I'm a little late to get on board, but it's neat to see uh, recording in our area and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to haul ass here to beat the rain, so that's what we're gonna do. Don't know how waterproof this thing is, but we're about to find out. <laughs> there was a good spot to stop by the look of it and get out of the rain for a second. Looks dry. Yeah, let's give uh let's give the battery just a minute and see if it doesn't come back around to another bar. We're not far from home, maybe four kilometers. We'll beeline the rest. So far we're not bad, barely getting damp. Thank God it's light rain. We'll be right back. Not much left in her boys. Not about a kilometer from home yet, so pretty impressive. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get that 60? Looks like it. You're gonna record for two seconds and shut down? We made it boys. Battery's completely dead. All right, so the high boy wasn't the only thing that died about a kilometer from the house, but uh, all three GoPros cropped out. So, I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed that rip. Um, it worked really well. We've got a total of, we started out with 22, and we got ourselves to 61, but it did die a kilometer ago. So basically stopped giving me any assistance other than intermittently throughout the last little bit. So we pedaled that last kilometer but yeah, as you can see, that gives you, uh, what did we get, 38? We did 23 miles, just shy of 25. That's probably, again, because I use level 5 and pretty well throttle assist the whole way, right? So hard on it we was. 
We achieved top speed again of uh, what was it 50 kilometers so that turned out to be 31 mile an hour right so it's a little faster than my bike doesn't have quite the distance range but pretty close with a uh, half well not quite half but 13 amp hour versus a uh, 20 amp hour it did really well so again uh, I think you could pretty well almost double the range if you just stayed in power assist levels the first couple and uh, power pedal assisted it um, suspension on the front pretty happy with that actually pros and cons right so the pros of this bike is the uh, cost point right now with the 40% off you can pick this thing up for uh, 1300 Canadian which is uh, pretty good considering the th 13 amp hour paired with the 750 watt motor um, torque 80 uh, Newton meters is, is more than enough on this bike it pulls hard it pulls harder than my bike with a 20 amp hour and a 750 putting out 1250 watts so I have to assume that this is actually going to be somewhere around 13 output um, if it had a meter, which it doesn't. Again, you're not getting a lot of frills or gimmicks with this bike because, well, it's a fraction of the price really, right? So um, what else? I think our only cons we really found with the bike is I didn't find the seat very comfortable. I see on uh, other people's reviews that they, uh, they raved about it, but for my ass, not so much. Um, hand grips are decent yeah actually I, I can't really complain about them and I know a lot of people griped on the brakes but I found with the weight of this bike that these are plenty uh, plenty good enough for my liking anyways the 26 inch by 4 tires what were they called again the brand was Chow Yang yeah they were fine they rode great really lots of traction on and off road no problems there Part of the box this battery indicator just didn't work i don't know what was up with that but um, i seem to have no luck with it range was pretty well what we expected um yeah but the biggest pro really is just the, the cost of it the headlight was actually extremely bright we compared it to the wife's last night and uh this was by far brighter and we thought hers was plenty adequate so no complaints there again suspension works great um, range was good top speed was excellent I'm actually you over impressed me with the uh, top speed and the torque those were the two major major things where like I said there's three thousand dollar e-bikes out there that are definitely providing less as far as torque no nope, pretty impressed with the high boy p6 no complaints other than the seat is pretty uncomfortable but again that's going to be preference for folks right um, just trying to think if there's anything I've really forgot. Rode really well. Like I said, if you uh, if you didn't like the hard tail, which I find is actually uh, a lot more controllable in the off-road scenario, but you can get suspension posts, and with all the money you're saving on the cost of this bike, you're going to have some left over for upgrades, such as a suspension post, maybe a new seat. I'd probably swap out the grips. I'd add a mirror. Um, maybe a flashing light to the rear I've got this spun around because I have my GoPro mounted there but that just goes like so and yeah Bob's your uncle I think that pretty much covers it all boys hope you enjoyed it a little bit of rip around Kingston seeing some of the historical locations that we have and uh, yeah we're gonna wipe this thing down and put it away didn't really seem to get too wet which is good we did get a light misting when we were coming home but I'm already pretty well dry we're drying out not too bad pretty minimal all right we'll get these cameras in there take a look at the footage once again huge shout out for uh for reaching out to us there hi boy and uh appreciate it because i enjoyed the bike for sure i'll definitely get it out again maybe we'll do a comparison video of all three of the e-bikes that we have that wouldn't be a bad idea um the wife's is pretty comparable to this like i said it's 500 watts versus a 750 with the same 13 amp hour battery um, so far, I, again, she body weight quite a bit less than me. Obviously, she's got to weigh at least 60 to 70 pounds less than I do. So I'm thinking that's that's the huge factor in the amount of range you can get out of these things as well, right? She goes really far on that. So farther than I do on a 20 amp hour with the 750. So mind you, I'm uh, heavy on the throttle, but pretty cool.